Hi, I'm Chef Scott here at the Harris Teeter Kitchen, and today we're going to show you how to prepare a Mediterranean mahi. We're starting out with an 8 ounce uh, filet, boneless, skinless filet of uh, mahi. We're going to flour and dust this, tap off the remnants. Okay, leave this sitting here. We're going to add some olive oil to a pan that I have previously heated. Gently add this piece of fish in there. Get a little color on this one side. Go in for the flip. Of course, we always season with uh, some sort of salt. We're using kosher salt today, fresh cracked pepper. Try to get this evenly dispersed on your fish so each bite uh, is as good as the last. We're gonna add in some uh, minced garlic. And as hot as this pan is, it's going to brown up really quick. We're going to deglaze with some Pinot Grigio. We're going to add some hearts of palm into this dish today. You could use uh, olives, capers, artichoke hearts, whatever you have at your convenience. This is a nice mild flavor that won't compete too harshly with the fish. We're going to also add some fresh oregano. You could use thyme just as, uh, just as well as oregano. It's kind of in the same family. We're going to add a little chicken stock to this next. Not too much. Give this fish one more little flip, presentation side. And if it comes apart like that, don't worry about it. We'll be able to fix that on our plate. Okay. We've also got some uh, roasted red pepper. You could use fresh pepper. This is uh, sometimes a little more convenient for you folks that uh, don't have the time to cut up vegetables. And also we're going to add in uh, some fresh jumbo lump crab meat. You could use uh, nice shrimp, 1620 or U10. Those you could also pick up at the uh, Harris Teeter Fisherman's Market. This is a really, really fast dish to prepare. Again, you can prep these items beforehand. Going to get our plate out here and get ready to plate this up. And depending on how you like your fish cooked, will certainly depend on how long you're going to cook it. Uh, this is going to be uh, a little more to the medium rare side, which is the way I generally prefer eating fish. So we'll just lay this on here, let our sauce reduce just a little bit. We'll spoon our vegetable and uh, this beautiful crab meat out. Just kind of surrounds your fish with that. There's a lot of color in this dish. It's a really, really pretty dish, so nice presentation at the end. So take a little extra time to make sure it's pretty. And we'll just pour a touch of this sauce over the plate here. There you have it. This is our Mediterranean mahi with fresh jumbo lump crab meat. I'm Chef Scott at the Harris Cedar Kitchen, and remember, just have fun. No place I'd rather be. My hair is teeter.